Hey everybody, welcome to another Whiskey Quickie, and this time we're looking at Old Elk and Greg Metz's special, their Infinity Blend, and this is the second one they've done. This is the 2022 release. Hmm. So, I wonder if there's any Coors Light mixed in here. Ah. Hey, Greg loves, it's funny, if you go over spending time with Greg, you'll hang out and drink whiskey all day, and then like, he like just pounds Coors Light. Not pounds, but they, he, he loves Coors Lights. <laughs> it's what you finish it with. That's right. It's, like you, it's just a boilermaker at the end of the day. That's... CL Slushies, I think that's what he calls them. <laughs> <laughs> or Brian Tracy said that, CL Slushies. Yes. Yeah. So this is, again, Old Elk Infinity Blend, and here is what goes into it. So it's 18% Old Elk 2021 Infinity Blend. There you go. 15% of Old Elk Straight Bourbon Whiskey aged 7 years. 9% of a Kentucky Straight Bourbon aged 13 years, 6% of Kentucky Straight Bourbon aged 12 years, and 52% of Old Elk Wheat Whiskey aged 7 years. Final proof is 114.1, and the SRP is $150. I loved last year's. It was fantastic, really well done. Um, and the Old Elk's mash bills are starting to get some really nice age on them. Remember we did that nine-year weeded bourbon selection or weeded whiskey selection? Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, it was good stuff. Well, here we go. On with the nose. Hmm. It's kind of like this nice, like a uh, banana peanut butter kind okay. of note. I'm Thank getting. you for finding it for yeah, me. I'm like, sitting there. I'm just trying to dig. Like, what is it? It's like a dried tangerine or it's something. I couldn't find it. But the but dry the, tangerine doesn't sound like banana that, peanut no, butter. But there was some fruity characteristic there. But there was something that I just I just can't yeah. put my hand on it or finger on it. I, I only because I made my daughter like peanut butter and jelly and, or peanut butter and put some bananas on it. And it reminded me of making it uh, the other day. So, but not banana croquettes. Not but ba banana croquettes are the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's no mayonnaise in this. We haven't <laughs> talked about banana croquettes on the show for a long time now. I know. All right, on with the taste. Ooh, yeah, that's good. It's got some nice smoothness to it, but it's got sweet, fruity, and a little subtle spice on the end. But I mean, there's like some nice, like grape kind of notes in there, like uh, like grape Kool Aid maybe a little bit. Then it kind of opens up into some like runt notes. Um, what I really love about this one is a buildup. Yeah, we tasted it, and then right now it's still going. And there was just a flavors that just kept on going. It was a, a almost like a gobstopper, and it just kind of just kept opening up as you kept going. It, it was honestly, it's a, still a good twenty seconds into it, and I can still taste the flavor rolling off the, the side of my tongue. Yeah, this is beautifully done. There's a lot going on. This is what's the cool part about blends, and not just doing one mash bill blended together. You get layers and layers of flavor and it, like you said it's just like that jawbreaker gobstopper just keeps unfolding um this is one i'd love to sit with and have multiple of i would too well, let's go ahead and let's rate it so on the nose where you at thumbs up thumbs up and the taste thumbs up i really like it and oh, I, i'm gonna go ahead and put thumbs up on the finish yeah because that was that was my favorite part about this it i just, think this one's better than last year's I, if I, I can remember well because it took 17 percent of last year's and just kept adding into it right that's so that, right they just built on the success of last year <laughs> that's all it is yep. let's see how much of this they put into the 2023 release yeah all yeah. right but that is going to be our review of old elk's 2022 infinity blend with that cheers everybody we'll see you next time <laughs>